today we're going to be doing a full face using only Charlotte Tilbury makeup. Yes, we are. Are you ready for this? Because I don't know if I'm ready myself. Like, I'm just hoping that it's going to be um, great because this stuff is expensive. First product I'm going to be using is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I remember reading up about this product where Charlotte used to mix her own creams together and use it on her celebrity clients. And they'd always be like, I need some of your magic cream, blah, blah, blah. And that's why she made this pot. Now, I was lucky enough, um, maybe a few months back now, yeah, actually quite a while back now, I was actually sent this along with a few other products that are in this little pot here. However, the other day I made a huge order from Cult Beauty on Charlotte Tilbury stuff because because I needed to have a full face and I only had a few things to try out. My bank balance after was an absolute joke. So I'm honestly hoping the stuff I have picked out is amazing because whew, I don't think I can actually deal with it not being considering how much money I spent on this. I'm always gonna keep it 100 with you guys. If I honestly think a product is crap, I'm gonna tell you it's crap. I'll tell you, save your money, don't waste it. If I think a product is good, I'm gonna tell you, go and get that. <laughs> That cream feels gorgeous on the skin. My skin feels lovely and plump. If I do use that cream, it tends to be in the morning when I'm gonna do my foundation or my skin's a little bit dry and I want my foundation to sit better. I don't use it of an evening. The next product I've popped onto my skin is the Wonder Glow. I used this once before and I was dead impressed and I don't know why I didn't reach for it more. My skin at the moment is actually not the best. Some people may look at it and be like, oh Sabrina, your skin's absolutely fine, like get over it. At the moment, basically on my chin, I've had these breakouts. Now what happens is with me, this tends to happen to me around once a year. And it's not like spots as in little white heads or black heads you can pick and get out. These are deep within the skin, kind of like cystic kind of spots in that way. I don't really know how to describe it, but they're very deep and they hurt. So when you put makeup on them, it's fine. But when they don't have makeup on them, they're quite red. If I put too much pressure on them, they will hurt like a bitch. Next up on our list is the Magic Foundation, people. With the word magic, I am hoping that my skin is going to be looking pretty damn flawless. Okay. <laughs> I got this in the shade Medium 7. Now, I use that foundation website, which is called Findation. I want to say, I think that's what it's called. I'll leave it linked in the down bar. It matched me up to this one because of course I didn't go in store and get this. I got this online, but you can use that foundation website whenever you guys need to be matched as well. So just giving it a little shake. Don't know if that's going to do anything. Okay, so it is new. So it's going to take a few pumps. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Just kind of trying to take in the coverage at the moment. I am using a beauty sponge. This is not a bad color match. All right, all right website. So far, this foundation is beautiful, like dead impressed with that. I haven't done my eyebrows yet, and I will be doing those probably like near to the end. So overall, I am not mad at that foundation, and I am so intrigued to see how it wears throughout the day, because if this is anything to go off, I'm kind of vibing with it. When I was ordering off the Cop Beauty website, there were two different concealers that I could pick from. What I did is I Googled image both of the concealers and I looked at a few photos where people have done like before and after. And I like this one, the fact that it had a little bit of a primer with it. So this is the, totally holding up the wrong way, Charlotte, no I'm not, am I? No, I'm not. Mini Miracle Eye Wand, dynamic duo to lift and illuminate. You got step one and step two. Why is this not coming out? Am I like twisting the wrong one here? Like what am I doing wrong? wrong oh my days it just shot off in the end. all right people we got there in the end so i know i have foundation primer and all like that already on my under eye but we're still going to see how this goes now i'm going to use my finger just to lightly pat that in i got this in the shade free for reference just dabbing that out in the area that i want to conceal and then i'll move on to other things such as like spots breakouts all that jazz this dries so damn fast I've just popped on some more because that dried so fast and I wasn't really happy with the coverage. I just don't know how I feel. I'm just gonna pop some onto my chin as well. A little bit underneath my nose and just around it. I think I've got to keep in mind that with Charlotte Tilbury, her makeup isn't there to conceal everything and her makeup isn't there to be similar to let's say like Instagram makeup. Charlotte Tilbury's overall sort of um, image of the brand is to be that kind of soft glowing you but just enhance your natural features and um, so i'm definitely going to bear that in mind with this overall look next product is the easy contour now i did use this i think it might be like a full face of first impression something along those lines and i actually really like this i like the fact that i had a little bit to twist it on and off 
so that it doesn't have a leak product when it's put pressure on it. I think that's quite smart. I love little things like that. Dab it along. Going to go at the bottom, a little bit down the sides of the nose, under the bottom lip, just along the jawline as well. Um, and then I'm going to take it a little bit just above those temples. Now I have to say the first time I used this product, I did like it. I was dead impressed with it. It didn't dry too fast. Sometimes I do feel like I'm either a full face kind of girl or a nothing at all. <laughs> like I'm either gonna do some lashes and a full glam or I'm just gonna go out with like nothing on my face. I don't tend to do in between very often. Highlight time, I'm gonna be using the easy highlighter. This is just in the shade Spotlight. Normally I'm not gonna lie, I don't really tend to use a lot of liquid highlighters. If I do, use a liquid highlighter then it is normally to like prep my face or put it as like a strobing kind of thing oh wow so much product has actually come out of that okay it's fine it's fine we'll roll with it here you should put some a little bit above eyebrow because there is a lot of product that's come out of this ah i've got it everywhere wow that is oh shoot this is literally going everywhere out of the packaging crap <laughs> probably gonna use the sponge first of all and then i might use my fingers just to help blend it in but it shouldn't be too bad because of course like i said i haven't got any powder on my skin so it shouldn't cause any separation at all. Okay, Charlotte. <laughs> I feel like in person, this actually looks insane. Right, so this powder, I have been umming and ahhing about getting for the longest time. This is the Flawless Airbrush Finish. And a lot of you guys actually say you really love this powder. So I have high hopes for this. Let's start patting that underneath the eye and just setting that area in place. I'm going to go a little bit above the lid as well. That is definitely mattifying those areas if you just literally look at the difference. Even though it has a slight colour to it, I don't feel like that colour is coming off at all. I do quite enjoy using a powder that adds that little bit more coverage, especially to my under eye. I really don't want to be a Debbie Downer here, but I'm not feeling this powder that much. Like, I'm really not. And I'm a little bit gutted right now because so far everything has been going so well. But this and the concealer I'm really on the fence about. I feel like I might have to try them a little bit more. Next up is Filmstar Bronze and Glow. This is the shade Fair Medium. I think there might only be two different shades in this. I'm literally going to have no eyebrows left by the time I put them on. You know when you put so much product in your eyebrows they start turning like grey? That's going to be me. So I'm just going to add some of this to the temples to help warm up the skin. I'm just going to use that just to lightly go on top of that contour that we've done for the nose. Sometimes I feel like when the centre of the face can be so light that you just end up losing your nose a little bit. I don't want that to happen. How do you think this highlight is going to do? Now, bearing in mind, I have already got that lovely highlighter on top, which I was actually impressed with. When I go on my next holiday, that is going to be coming with me because I am shocked. So either 134... Gonna go on top to the places that I added that first highlight to. I'm sorry, but what just happened with that highlighter? Honestly, if I was to look at that at a counter, I, that wouldn't even catch my attention. But when I put that on, what? That fully shocked me. Don't get me wrong, I really swelled my brush in there. But nonetheless, like, what the hell, man? Next product we're gonna be using is one of her blushes. Now, I really wanted to try these blushes as well for the longest time. This is the shade Cheek to Chic. So what you do is you swish the outer perimeter and then you pop the darker shade onto the apples of the cheek. So let's give that a go. I'm using a NYX brush here. This side now. Dark shade on the apples. When you do your apples of your cheeks, be a little bit weary because when you smile, your cheeks are lifted. So definitely try and go a little bit higher. So like I go here because when you stop smiling, it drops. So you need to bear that in mind. I am more used to a cheek like this compared to a cheek which goes darker here. I don't know how I feel about that. But I'm just following what is done on the packaging. So let me try and do that again. Rolling with it, rolling with it. Taking the Instant Eye Palette now. I was kindly sent this when they sent me a little PR package a little while ago. These are all quite simplistic looks except for maybe these ones here. Remember this is all going to be a little bit more natural. I'm probably going to go with this colour here because I feel like that might work with my eye look a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting that shade mainly on the outer corner here, running that straight underneath my waterline as well. I have so much respect for Charlotte Tilbury though. It's so awesome to see how well her brand has blossomed and how humble and lovely she still is. I've seen her do so many videos with other YouTubers and stuff and I just think that's awesome. Using the darker shade now, I'm just gonna go 
straight into that socket line using a Zoeva 231 pencil brush. Once again, underneath the waterline, using my finger, I'm going to use that to apply that shimmery color all over the lid. So I picked up the full fat lashes. Let's start off with those bottom eyelashes. I'm really not a natural eyelash kind of girl, just so you know. Bottom eyelashes are done. It doesn't coat them too much and make them look a little bit like cakey and spider lashes. It separates them nicely. Um, yeah, all right. Let's move on to the top okay people so this is what we are working with right now i do not know what all of that was of course i haven't got any eyelashes on because to my knowledge charlotte tilbury doesn't actually have any in her range but this is me we're talking about so i am definitely going to be putting on lashes i'm going to be wearing lashes i live for lashes lashes are my life come on eyelashes make such a difference i'm just gonna allow them to get a little bit tacky and make sure they are stuck down this is in the shade iconic nude and this was the first product i ever purchased from charlotte tilbury i got it in westfield when i was with koshal and layla i find these lip liners as well tend to stay on your lips for quite some time because they're very waxy i also filled in my eyebrows i don't think i actually even mentioned that to you guys i just literally come back on camera and i'm like, boom i got brows i really have just kind of filled them in and just brushed some like brow product through them but yeah this lip liner is so good for like overlining your lips i have one of the hollywood lips matte liquid lipsticks in charlotte darling so i'm gonna apply this mainly into the center going back to the lip liner now i have changed and fixed up my hair a little bit and oh my gosh charlotte tilbury has slayed my face well i did it but with her products you know what i mean yeah but when i'm looking in the mirror i'm honestly so impressed like it just looks like myself but 20 times better <laughs> the two things i completely love out of this look are the lip products i think these colors are stunning and they can work together like i have done but you can also use them individually and use this by itself and then put a little bit of a light pink in the center if you really want that fuller lip look and then you can also just use this all over the lips by itself i've never used this lip color before um and i really like it so i really do think if you like similar nudes to myself then you will love these two products and then I have to add these products in because I'm not going to lie, they did shock me. This primer I think is great. It's a really nice one. It does literally just give your skin that glow from within. As cheesy as that sounds, that does sound really cheesy, doesn't it? Yeah. I really was impressed with this Beauty Wand Highlighter. Um, I did not expect that and it gave such a gorgeous glow. It didn't look cakey. So far, I really like this and I can definitely use this for when I'm not super tanned, like now. Those are my favourites from the video. Please thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video and let me know if there's any other brands that you guys want to see me do a full face on. I'll leave the link to my jump in the down bar. My earrings are from Misguided. I got them at the store at Blue Water. I love you guys so much and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye.